Good evening, tubers. Madam Roy back once again. Back to you with a late night live stream. Well, at least late night here. It's about 10 p.m. But a lot of you have told me that it's better for you guys where you are because, of course, there are different time zones all around the world. So, what I'm going to do, wait just a couple of minutes, and then we'll get into what I've actually found today. I had some really cool scores. A um, couple community garage sales I went to. One was not so great. The second one was. So, you guys will have to wait just a minute. Got five watchers. <laughs> Cameron Cloud says, you got my interest with the van shoebox. Yeah, we're going to get to that in just a couple of minutes. Cameron says, 2 p.m. here in New Zealand. Awesome. So we got a good time for some of you out there. And hopefully it'll be a little less shaky. I'm actually using a selfie stick right now. Though I am pretty tired. Again, it's 10 p.m. here. So bear with me if I'm still a little too shaky. Chet Boulet says, late night live stream. Yep, we're going to try something a little bit different. Eric Brunhammer says, I used to wear Vans when I did BMX. Ugh, been, a, been a while. I used to ride a couple of BMX bikes myself years and years ago, but unfortunately I'm a little past my prime at the moment. Looks like Stephen Barber said the MacBook Pro fell through. I'm sorry to hear about that, but it looks like he's going to get an HP Envy. Well, me being a PC guy, that actually makes me pretty happy. All right, we got eight watchers, and go ahead and turn you guys around. Let me uh, readjust this a little bit here. There we go. We'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to start right over here and show you the first item that I picked up today. All right, everybody. So you see this stereo system here. Um, now, if you've seen my live streams before, you'll know that I did not get these today. These speakers actually came from uh, several actually i think these came from a community garage and i think i actually got these from a thrift store but what i actually picked up today is really cool and that is this sony receiver right here uh we have a sony this is model number str focus dash de845 uh probably late 90s early 2000s era i'm guessing um, I picked this up for $15, and it actually came with the original remote control. Check out how cool this is. Um, this is a multifunction remote control with an LCD display. Um, you can change the different functions here. So you got CD, tuner, phono, uh, 5.1 channel, and then you have some user configurable settings there. I think I actually said that right. So uh, this is really cool. And another feature I kind of like about this, this actually opens up to reveal more buttons here. So if you hold it like this, it looks like one of those old school Motorola flip phones. Very, very cool in my opinion. Um, it does work well with the five disc CD changer. Again, not something I picked up today, but I did have it sitting around, and it pairs nicely with this because the multifunction remote does control that as well. You can see that the uh, LCD display on there is very nice and bright. I'll go ahead and uh, do a little play, a little something for you. Probably should have told you guys to turn your, your speakers down. Oops, on my part. But as you can see, it works really, really good. Um, it's 5.1, not 7.1 surround sound. So again, it's a little bit on the older side. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and list this as you see it right here, probably tomorrow for sale. Probably going to ask between 140 to 160. Haven't totally decided yet. But again, these are really, really hot right now. If you guys are looking for an item to resell on things like the Facebook Marketplace platform, uh, Craigslist, any of those, this is definitely the way to, get, way to go. All right, moving on to the dining room table. Um, got a few shirts here. Uh, nothing too special. This is a Obey, a Obey brand shirt. <laughs> Fight war, not wars. Obey propaganda. 
Um, the only reason I got this was it was really cheap and they did not have the full change for me. So I said, you know what? They wanted like 50 cents a piece for this shirt. So I just grabbed a couple of them there. Next, this one I think was really, really cool. Uh, soccer is our engine. Uh, looks like it was some type of uh, New York Derby from May 5th of 2018 you could see so this is fairly new uh this is a large and so is this one you guys probably know by now i am in a large size so uh awesome i cannot believe that i've gotten down to a large size shirt i never honestly thought i would get down to that size so go ahead and fold these over i know i'm not great at folding we'll stick them up there for now and next because I am going up to New York for a wedding, I figured this would be something nice to wear. New York Giants uh, football shirt. I love the uh, faux leather um, font on there. That's actually really, really cool. Uh, by Majestic. Again, this is a large shirt. Should fit me just fine. Um, it's iffy. Sometimes uh, large shirts are a little too small for me. Um, but for the most part, they're... Um, they're okay. We'll we'll have to see. I might. Oh, I lost you guys there. I am not sure what happened, um, but I'm back. Let me go ahead and turn you guys back around. That was kind of weird. All right, moving on. Uh, I went to what they call a couponer's yard sale. Basically, what these people do is they go to stores and they bring coupons. They go on like super special days, triple coupon days. And they buy a lot of uh, toiletries, things like uh, paper towels, stuff like that. And I picked up some Colgate Sensitive Whitening Toothpaste. Anti-cavity toothpaste for sensitive teeth. Relieves and whitens. Clinically proven. You know, it's a good deal. I got that for $2. The, this uh, Colgate Sensitive Whitening usually sells for 4 to $5 in the uh, grocery store. So not a bad deal. Definitely going to go ahead and uh, be using that soon. I'm trying to get my teeth a little more white. <laughs> All right. Picked up some backpacks, and I do like using these when we go on bike rides. These are Trailmaker equipment. Um, these were $14.99 originally. That sticker's broken, but you can see on here. Uh, these are originally $15.00. Nothing super special, though I do like the fact that they have two different areas for storage. They have this one front pocket right there, and then they have the main pocket, which will be nice, especially when we bike ride, um, because I tend to do a lot of shopping, especially grocery shopping on my bike rides. And this looks pretty big. I should be able to fit a lot of my groceries in there. And of course, now I have the two different backpacks, so whatever I'm wearing, I pretty much should have one to match. Next, um, I'll tell you a quick story. I actually did a really long bike ride today, um, and I went to three or four garage sales on my bike, and this is one thing I picked up. This is a Dell XPS, probably from the um, Vista or early Windows 7 era, a laptop folder. We call it a folder, but this doesn't really have room for your charger, but you can stick the laptop in there. Again, got that for a dollar. Nothing super unusual there. Probably pair that with one of the two laptops I also got, which I'll show you guys in just a couple of minutes. Uh, ten watchers. Let's see. Anybody got any questions, comments, queries? I'm sorry, buddy. I'm, I'm dealing with some allergy problems right now, too. All right, nobody's really asking me anything, so we'll go ahead and move on here. Pick this up for a dollar. This is an Archon Mobile Grip 2 Windshield Dashboard Car Mount. I can always use these because mine inevitably break. What usually happens is the uh, suction cup uh, rubber degrades after being in the window for so long, but I believe it's all in there. There's a little mount that you put your phone in. Seems to have a pretty strong grip there, as you can see. Let's see what else we got in there. And then there's the actual cell phone mount itself. That's the part that goes on your windshield. And then this would mount just like that. 
And that's about it. Now, this is the part that usually degrades on me. After about five or six months, this just turns into uh, something resembling black oatmeal, and then it's pretty much no good anymore. There's something else in there, too. I don't know what it is. Uh, oh, that's the ring that goes around here so you can tighten it up. But yeah, for a dollar, definitely not a bad deal. Ah, check this out. This is really cool. I kind of got this for mom. I think I paid $2 for this. This is a KitchenAid timer. Look if I could turn it on real quick. So you can set the hours and the minutes and basically a cook timer. So let's say you're baking a cake and the cake takes one hour. So you just click the one hour and then start. And it counts down from one hour. Yes, I do realize that most cell phones and tablets have this app in there. But I just think it's cool to have something like this. You don't always have your cell phone or your tablet around you. So it's nice to have one of these. This is a nice sturdy one built really, really well. So mom will definitely get some use out of that. Especially because she's going to start baking in the near future. Hint, hint, you guys might be seeing some more cooking videos. Uh, another shirt that I picked up. I actually got two of these. These are Love Fest for the Love of Fitness from 2018. This was some type of event that they had. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but I really like these. These are large size, so these will fit me just fine. I actually got two of those. You can see the other one is right over in the corner there. Uh, next, just another one of those shirts that I had to get because they didn't have enough change to give me. This is the only constant is change, Volcom. And I actually like that uh, saying the only constant is change because that is the truth. And as human beings, we tend to resist change. So that is something we always have to live by. We, even though we hate change, it is inevitable and it's going to happen. Not always for the better, usually for the worse, but you know what? Sometimes we do luck out on that department, and I have been very blessed recently. I really can't complain. Now, this shirt is really cool. This is, I believe, a large. I know it fits me, so I'm assuming it has to be at least a large. We have an amazing Spider-Man. The rumors are true. You can see it's got a little bit of wear there. Actually, maybe not. It's probably supposed to be like that. You can see it's got like the little spider tail there. Uh, Marvel. Um, it's basically supposed to look like a comic book cover. So yeah, this was actually a really cool find. I haven't looked up the value of this. It may not be much in the current condition because again, it does have a lot of wear. So I'll probably just wind up keeping this one for myself and just uh, wearing it on special occasions. Yeah, definitely needs to be washed. Mike Paradin says, hey, man, I made it to your video from Montreal. Thank you so much. I'm not going to be answering any tech-related questions. That's not what this video is about. So please don't post anything technology-related. Remember, this is a garage sale haul video. Next, got this for Dad. This is a Super Chevy with a what looks to be a Chevelle on the, uh, on the actual clock face. Got that for 50 cents. Figured Dad could go ahead and hang that in the garage somewhere. I think he'd really enjoy that. And Mr. Milo decided to come and see us and be kooky. Probably going to put his head through the middle. He usually does. What you going to do? What you going to do? You going to attack my hand? You going to attack my hand, Milo? Oh, yeah. And he'll squeak when he does it, too. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> Silly boy. Yeah, help help Matt out. Help Matt out. Uh, you probably get me a super chat. I bet you will. I bet you will. Yeah, I bet you will, Milo. He's been in a biting mood lately, too. I don't know. Keep me company while I do this uh, live stream. All right, tubers. Uh, coming to the home stretch on the table here. Next, uh, this is another item I picked up while I was bike riding. Better Homes and Gardens Fresh Orchard Apples proudly made in the usa this actually has a really really good scent this is like a candied apple scent you can see that it's really really um pliable mm, love that smell i wish we had smell vision here i'm telling you smell vision is definitely something that youtube needs to come out with okay 
This is one of the more cool finds of the day. This is actually one of the last items I picked up on my first round at the garage sales earlier. This is an Amazon Fire Stick. You can see I paid $10 for it. And it is brand new. The guy told me the story about this. He said that his son gave it to them. He actually gave them two and jailbroke both of them. So this one is jailbroken, which is nice. It means I won't have to do it. Um, this was on the, I guess, like secondary TV in the guest room. They never used it. So we decided to put it out for 10 bucks, which I think is a phenomenal deal. Um, haven't had a chance to try it yet. Everything I believe is here though. You got the stick itself, uh, the little, um, HDMI cable plug into the TV. There's your little power cable that powers it. And yep. Uh, for anybody asks, it even has the original remote. So that was a really cool score. Um, I'm not sure if they installed some, things like Cody or anything on there, but I'll have to check that out. If they did, that means I'll be watching a lot of really cool content here in the new, near future. Gloria Hudson said, where's the shoes at? Ah, you guys are going to have to wait till the end. I am going to make you wait till the end to see the shoes. And I'm... Ah, uh, you guys have to be patient. So, next, we have two laptops for you guys. You can actually see my face right through here. Um, in the, what's a good word for it? In the interest of full disclosure, I will tell you that this laptop came from a garage sale. This one I actually picked up uh, later today off the Facebook Marketplace. But I'm going to go ahead and show them both to you. This I actually got for free with two other laptops that wound up being uh, just total garbage. Uh, this was the only one that was really salvageable. This is a, um, an Asus. It looks like a really nice laptop, and it is decent. It has a few little um, press marks on the screen, but nothing major. Um, it probably wouldn't even bother most people. It bothers me, though. And I'll show you guys the specs on here real quick. It is a Intel Celeron N3050 running at 1.6 gigahertz. And it has the 4 gigabytes of RAM in there. So um, not a high-end computer by any stretch of the imagination. But for free, I really couldn't complain. Battery holds a full charge. And yes, it is a dual-core Celeron. So it is still plenty usable in this day and age. I've actually listed this one for sale. Um, I put this up on pretty much all the platforms for $140. Um, I would have listed it for a little bit more, um, but because of the minor damage to the screen, I wanted to be a little bit fair, so I put it for $140. If it was in mint condition, I probably would have listed this more in the $180 to $200 range. This right here is a Dell Latitude E6500. This has a Intel Centrino 2 or a Core 2 Duo processor in it. This one isn't in great shape. It's missing the uh, hard drive cover here. Um, and it does have an issue with the uh, little damage here, if you guys can see it. It's got a little chunk taken out of the top of the screen. But I only gave the guy 10 bucks for it. Probably not going to be able to do too much with this. I'll probably keep this as a spare laptop. Right now it's running Windows 10. Uh, it's got the 250 gig hard drive and 4 gigs of RAM. So it's it's plenty usable. And it's really a shame that the, um, the exterior of the case is in such bad shape because it doesn't appear that it's had a lot of use in its lifetime. Uh, the keyboard is not really worn. The trackpad on these, um, if you know these computers, the, you know the you know the trackpads tend to wear pretty quickly. So I have to decide what I want to do with this computer, I, and I haven't done that yet, but this might be a topic for a future video. We're getting there. We're getting there. You guys see them in the distance there. You're just going to have to wait a few more minutes. I'm going to do this box here. And then we'll get to the pièce de résistance, pièce de résistance of this video. A uh, few items here. I actually picked this up on Friday. These were the Friday garage sale hauls. Uh, news radio. Uh, this is the first and second seasons, and then the third seasons. They are in there. I think I gave two dollars a piece for these, which I was happy to to give because these are actually really hard to find. 
I think these are OOP right now. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that means, that means out of print. So basically, the only way you can get these now uh, is on the secondhand market. A few other items, some uh, speaker wire here. Um, I didn't really pay anything for this. This came with a pair of speakers that unfortunately were no good. They were DOA. So I guess you could say I probably paid $5 for the speaker wire. Eh, that was a... Um, issue on my part. I really should have checked that stuff out. Um, some type of Logitech webcam. I think it's an old, definitely an older one. This is the one that doesn't even really sit on the monitor. Or if it did, it was designed to sit on an old CRT. But I thought I'd check this out. Maybe it'd be cool to pair this with one of my retro Windows 98, Windows 2000 systems. Uh, just a random um, Toshiba power brick there. You can always use these. I always find laptops and they don't have the power supplies with them. Uh, Dell mouse. No, I did not pay $2 for that. They actually gave that to me for free because I bought a, um, a bunch of other stuff from this place. This all actually came from a uh, Masonic Lodge except for the two um, news radio DVDs. And then this guy... I don't know. Let's see. Let's play a little game. Does anybody out there know what this is without me opening the top? Has anybody ever seen one of these before? I mean, I know what it is, but I'm wondering if anybody here knows what this is. <laughs> we got some news radio fans. Paul Kane says, new radio is a great series. I love it. Electric tea kettle. You're right, Paul. That's exactly what this is. It's a one cup electric tea kettle and I actually had bleached the inside of this because it kind of smelled a little bit when I first got it. So basically if you're on the go and you don't have something like a Keurig with you, as long as you have uh, coffee grounds and one of those like one um, coffee cup uh, manual drip, um, I don't know what you call them, uh, containers, you can pretty much just brew up a cup of coffee in here, put water in there, have it boil and then just pour it out and then you have yourself one cup of coffee. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I actually have a couple of them up here. Ah, da, 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 da. ah here they are. Basically what you do is you put your coffee grounds in here and you would take something like this mug. I actually got two of these today. I got these for 50 cents a piece. almost forgot to show you this. So you'd go ahead and take your coffee put it in here with a filter these use the number two filters then you would heat up your water pour it in there and you'd make yourself a nice cup of coffee and i have done this many many times when i'm out of town and unfortunately i can't drag my little keurig with me i love having my keurig with me but it's kind of impractical to bring it everywhere so this is a definitely a good second option so we got 24 watchers and 7 likes. Come on, guys. Help me out with some likes. If you really enjoy this, uh, this video, give me a thumbs up there. I'm going to switch hands real quick because uh, my right hand's kind of cramping up. All right. Da, 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 all right we have hit uh the best of the scores for today i got these from one garage sale and i must say i was absolutely floored to get these i'm gonna go ahead and start from the left to the right um i will tell you that the nikes in the middle were worn at least once, but they showed almost no signs of wear. And the Adidas and the Vans were brand new in box. So let's go ahead and start with the Adidas here. Um, go ahead and show you the price. Yeah, that's right. These were these are Adidas ZX Flux, uh, C Black. You guys can look at that. They're size 11 and a half. And they did originally sell for $120. So go ahead and open this up and show you guys what they look like. I think these were really cool. These are high tops or medium tops. I don't know. What do you guys call those? Are those high tops or medium tops? Somebody let me know. But they are absolutely brand new. You could tell by looking here that they have never been worn. Um... They are absolutely cool looking. They're gray 
with what appears to be a emerald green inlay. Uh, you can see that it does have the normal white around the uh, outside of the sole. And I don't know why they do this with shoes. To me, this part should always be black because this is the part that actually uh, gets all of the dirt. So not my ideal choice for having it white there, but I still think these are really, really cool looking shoes. Teal, thank you. Yep, I, I'd say that is probably a teal color, but um, well... Yeah, definitely, because I'm looking at the light here. That See, to me, that looks teal, but here, this looks emerald. And I don't know if the phone will pick it up, but these are actually two different colors. So maybe that's on purpose, because I'm noticing there's like a fade. It goes from a teal to kind of like an emerald green up top. And once again, that may have totally been on purpose. But So let's keep a running count. And I will tell you guys that for the three of these, I got all of these choose for $25. So being that these are brand new, they are definitely worth the $120 that a box suggests. Next, picked up a pair of Nikes and these retailed for $94.95, so about $95. Um, these are really, really nice. I actually wore these today and I didn't feel bad wearing them because again, I could tell somebody had at least been out once or twice with them. You can see there's a little bit of dirt on there, and some of that is from me. I would say if these were worn, it may have only been once or twice, because if you look inside, other than the little bit of lint, there's really no wear to speak of at all in those shoes. These are Nike, uh, Nike SB Lunner, Lunnerlon. Lunnerlon. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce that. Um... Again, in really, really good shape. It's kind of got like a, a leopard or a tiger print on there. Um, you got the black suede on top there. And again, looking at the price, I would probably say if I was to sell these, but I'm probably not going to. I'm most likely going to keep these. Um, I would say these are probably still worth every bit of $40 or $50. All right. Let me see. What do we got here? Paul Kane says, I know you do the clothing resale thing, but I'd hold on to these. Yeah, as far as I know, I am definitely going to be holding on to these three pairs of shoes because I really, really like them. And last but not least, because I am getting very tired, we're going to go and end this very shortly, are the Vans. Now, looking on the side here, these are were originally $49.99. Now, I believe that was a sale price probably from a uh, outlet store because when I looked these up online, these old school black vans, uh, most of the prices I saw were in the $60 to $70 range. So for argument's sake, we'll say you could get these brand new again for $50. And these are really cool. I love vans. Just to let you guys know, I have really wide, very large feet. And for many years, Vans was the only shoes that I could wear. Vans, off the wall. Love it. Retro looking. So, ooh, there we go. So, here we go. This is the last pair of shoes. And once again, um, I don't believe these were ever worn it's really hard to tell. I did put these on before, so I might have actually gotten that little bit of dirt right there. Um, you can see inside, it looks absolutely brand new. And I was actually told by the lady that sold these to me that the Nikes were the only ones that were worn. She told me that the Adidas and the Vans were brand new. Um, but once again, totally clean, except for just a little bit of dirt on the edge. And again, I think that's probably from where I tried them on. So if we add all of these up, so let's say that was $50, these were $120, so what are we at? 10, 30, 40, 50, that's $70, and say these are worth another $40. That is over $200 worth of shoes. If you went into a retail establishment, you would have to shell out. That was able to get for $25 from one garage sale. So believe me when I tell you guys that you can find awesome deals at your local garage sales, yard sales, rummage sales, 
car boot sales, depending on where you live, there are different names for them, but it is definitely possible to find the bargains. I'll go ahead and turn this around for a minute. Uh, Paul King goes, I have to wear a 13 wide. Depends on shoes. Most of the time I can get away with a 12 wide, but yeah, there are times like if I'm walking a lot and my feet swell up, then yeah, I have to go for the size 13s, definitely. Paul Kane says, my closet is pretty much all New Balance and Skechers. I've worn Skechers before. New Balance, I just wasn't that crazy about them. They didn't seem to conform properly to my feet. <laughs> Ruben wants me to make regular vlogs for the next week. I don't know about that. Like I said, for the time being, until my life gets a little bit hectic... Live streams are going to have to be the norm. And again, if you guys don't like that, I'm sorry. That's just the way it's got to be right now. Too many things are happening in my life that uh, it just makes editing videos really challenging. And honestly, I wouldn't even have the time to do it. And even if I wanted to, and I do want to, but it's really just a time thing right now. All right. Let me go ahead and double check, make sure that I'm not missing anything because uh, you guys deserve that. If, um, you know, if I found something and I forgot to show it to you guys, I definitely want to uh, do that. Okay, a couple of other quick items here to show you. Um, these were not from this week's garage sale, but they were from ones that I did the previous week that I just wasn't able to show you guys. Let me go ahead and turn you around one more time. Nothing super, super fancy here. A couple of VCRs. Um, this is an Emerson forehead hi-fi stereo. Normally, I would never pick these cheap Emerson VCRs up. They're usually just not worth it. But I only paid $5 for this. And you could tell that it was brand new. Um, the remote, the uh, coax cable, the manual, everything is new in there. I actually took the tape off of this because I wanted to remove the batteries. The batteries were in there. Believe it or not, they were still in the original shrink wrap, but they were all starting to corrode, so I had to go ahead and remove those. And the other VCR I picked up here, we'll go ahead and sit that on top of my computer for a minute. A little bit fancier, and this I didn't, did not actually get at a garage sale. This came from uh, Goodwill, one of the Goodwills near us. I think the one on Battlefield. Um, picked this up for, I want to say $4 and something cents, like $4.50. Um, these Sony VCRs, the one, most of the ones you find are going to be stereo, but the ones that are hi-fi stereo with VCR Plus and have the 19 micron heads, if my phone will focus, which it might not, there we go, are always worth picking up because believe it or not, um, especially with the remotes, you can get 40 to $60 for these all day long if they work properly. And I actually have not had a chance to test this one yet. One thing that Goodwill does that drives me crazy is they use this kind of um, really cheap packing tape to put the to attach the remotes to the VCRs. And it's almost impossible to get off. If you look really close here, you can see that um, I still have some of the residue on there. I have to work it trying to get the rest of that off before I list it. You can see it, especially around the channel up, channel down button. But once again, really, really good deals. Pick these up if you see them, test them thoroughly, and then list them on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, whatever you guys use in your area. And I can almost guarantee you're going to get at least $40 for these. And once again, if you do see them, make sure you get the ones that have that 19 micron head. I don't know why my camera's, my phone's being stupid right now. Come on. There you go. 19 micron head, auto clock set, auto head cleaner. The rest of that isn't that important. But moving on, the last two things that I picked up uh, this past week are just some blank cassettes. I got video cassettes. I actually got these today. Um, TDK AQ advanced quality, probably the best of the tapes I picked up. Got that one for 50 cents. Uh, for a dollar, I got a two pack of Sony eight hour premium grade tapes. Um, these are okay. I'm not really a big fan of Sony blank media. They're not the greatest quality, but you know what? 
Because it's Sony, I can pair that with the VCR and maybe eke out a few more dollars when it comes time to sell it. And then just one uh, Sony six-hour uh, premium grade tape. Now, there is one thing I want to show you guys in the corner here that is going to be the subject of a new video. This is something that I picked up, and I might as well just show you guys. It is in there. I will tell you that it is in there. Um, this was given to me by someone. I'm not going to say who it was because they don't want me to um, in, in exchange for some work that I did. Uh, this is what is in that box. It is a 2009 Mac Pro. Uh, it's got a Intel uh, Xeon quad core. And that's really all I know about it so far. I have not even had a chance to look at it yet. Um, just ignore this. This has nothing to do with that. This is just the old um, NAS server that doesn't even work anymore. All right, tubers. That is it for the garage sale hauls. Let me go ahead and turn you around. I'm going to go ahead and see if there's any other questions or comments here. Paul Kane, if you can find them, get a six-head VCR, better picture, sound, and scanning features. I do find them on occasion, but they are more rare. Um, as time went on in the early 2000s, they really stopped making them because everything was transitioning over to DVD, and most people really didn't care that much about the quality of their VHS, so... Yeah, they really just didn't make them too much. But again, on occasion, when I find the six-head VCRs, um, they're usually the Hitachis or the JVCs. Very rarely do I find any of the Sony six-head VCRs. Those are extremely rare, and people that have them keep them. All right, tubers. Uh, one more thing I'm going to answer. Oh, we got Mark Covington. He says, I have a J-Win DVD player I'm getting ready to sell. It includes a remote control. I'm getting ready to add a couple of AAA batteries with it. Awesome, Mark. So go ahead and list that on you know Facebook Marketplace, uh, Craigslist, all of them. Put it for a fair price. Um, DVD players usually sell between $10 and $20, and you should sell it in no time. Use WD-40 to get rid of the residue. Um... I do that in extreme cases, but honestly, Goo Gone is my go-to. And believe it or not, I actually got a whole bunch of small ones, and I put them in this old um, Germex hand sanitizer bottle. Boy, is it meters that look like urine? That's actually Goo Gone, believe it or not. It's not pee, but man, that does kind of look like a urine sample, doesn't it? Ugh, looks like something I gave a few days ago for my physical. All right, tubers, that is going to be it for this live stream. I'm sure some of you will have to see this in post-production. I'm trying to vary the times that I do these so everybody has a chance to participate. Please continue to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody. Or in this case, a blessed evening.